How's it going YouTube? Donnie coming to you live from the Judging Santa Mola and SP Japan. Just got back in town from Nico Circuit about maybe 2 and 8, 2 a.m. last night. So getting right into the King of Asia event. Uh, it was a great event put on by Mike of King of Europe and uh, partnered with Keiichi Tsuchiya and, and all the guys here in Japan. And I got to say for the Nagi event, uh, it, was, it was a very good event. It was uh, probably one of the better organized events I've been involved in and uh, definitely was uh, the biggest event in my drift career. Uh, Tony actually uh, had me, you know, I said, I mentioned before in my last video, Tony got me in to actually enter the event, and I didn't think I had the qualifications to enter the event, but he said, you know, put my you know, put my hat in the, uh, in the ring and see how I would do, and I was actually very, uh, very shocked to be brought on board. I had to rush my car to get it done, and get it done in time for the event, so, you know, you guys, anybody who builds cars knows you're at the mercy of, how fast your parts can get to you and my parts arrived. Some of my parts arrived the, the last few days before the event, but we were scrambling 8 o'clock at night to try to get on a trailer and get on the road for uh, Nico to hit through Sonny Mia. Me and my buddy Alan, who helped me all weekend, who I thank uh, tremendously a lot from Gaijin Drift, who also make the stickers for my car. He's the one who does all my stickers for the last like four years. Um, he was my uh, spotter as well as my mechanic uh, in, the, uh, in the pits, helped me out a lot. Uh, allowed me to breathe easy at times, which I haven't been able to do in the past. We got on the road and we got to Nico around about 4 a.m. in the morning. I maybe slept maybe 15 hours that whole week, so I was pretty much dragging zombie mode. So Alan actually drove uh, half the leg down, most of the leg down, and uh, let me get some sleep and everything. It was, uh, when I arrived there, the atmosphere was a great atmosphere. Yeah, it wasn't many car casualties at all. Uh, most of the cars all made it through the weekend, and uh, again, when I first got on the track, it was my very, it was my very first time ever driving a Nico. I had uh, been to Nico before helping uh, uh, Andrea Power Vehicles and Emily Power Vehicles out. First time with a brand new car, never drifted it before. Uh, in a major event is something some people will probably shy away from and actually make excuses as to why they can't do the event. But for me. You only got one life to live, and I'm, I'm going to take advantage of every opportunity I got to uh, do what I got to do. So I went out there. First three laps looked like shit, to be honest. And uh, excuse my language. And uh, after that, started to get the groove of the track and uh, started to hone in. So I wasn't expecting to master the car in one day but still was able to go out there with the skills that were part over the years and pit the car and, and look decent out there. Uh, but the event overall, uh, I got great motivation from the drivers, the more experienced competition drivers, uh, to push myself even higher. The climax of the event ended with Naki Nakamura and da uh, Daigo Saito. Any video you see will not do that battle justice. Uh, being there, you know, in person, feet from their action, it was one of the most motivating things I've ever been part of. And you know, I was kind of bummed about my, you know, my my placing and getting knocked out. But after seeing that man, it gave me so much motivation to uh, to you know get to the track when I can and, and get on that level. And they're on a, another stratosphere as far as drifting, uh, doing what the, doing what the judges want to, want you to do every time, which is the biggest difference and the challenge for competition drifting is doing what the judges want every time. You know, five out of five times, you, can, you know, controlling your car, controlling your speed, doing all that stuff. Those guys can do it all the time, and uh, I was very impressed with how uh, Nakamura was able to take his car, which I believe was about 450-500 horsepower SR20, and match Daigo's uh, uh, Toyota, which was about, I heard about maybe 1,000 horsepower, and that, that was points where uh, Nak Nakamura was glued to Daigo's bumper, and again, me and my buddy uh, Alan witnessing that, uh, you know, it, made, it just made my heart like pump, man. I just wanted to get back out there and uh, drift, man. So. Uh, Definitely take motivation from the people around you, surround yourself with good people, keep the drama low, and keep the drifting going. Another good thing that happened over the weekend is I met a lot of friends that I've known on Facebook for over five or six years. Again, met Tony from Okinawa. I, I met uh, Seda and I met uh, Takeshi from uh, Saitama. And I met, uh, I met Ben from uh, Venice from Singapore. And I met a lot of people this week that I've been friends with Facebook on for over four, like five, say five or six years. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Be sure to check out the older videos. Uh, season starting. And uh, I'll have more videos to come. Thanks. Peace out. Pink Rangers. A lot of sign off from Japan.